COPD is the fourth leading cause of death in the world, and it's the only leading cause of death that's actually increasing. In the diagnosing, screening, and monitoring of these diseases where the, the problem lies, and that's around, around the world, especially in developing countries. So we looked at, okay, how, how do people in the developed world actually solve this problem? we found that that's through spirometry. So spirometers are medical devices that are used primarily by pulmonologists in, in hospitals right now. Have the patient breathe into this device, inhale and exhale, uh, and then you're able to trace out um, a curve of how that person's lungs are performing. Um, and through that, you're able to diagnose if they have an obstruction or a restriction in their lungs and actually figure out if this person has COPD um, or if they have asthma. Um, so different things like that. The big barrier is that it's really difficult to use and it's very high cost, somewhere between a thousand and three thousand dollars for the average spirometer. So what we were able to figure out is using a microphone uh, as the main sensor uh, for this device and a, a specific uh, mechanical channel to make the air actually oscillate back and forth um, without any sort of moving parts. Currently our, our prototypes that we've been using have been able to have comparable accuracy uh, to those barometers, which are thousands of dollars, uh, but our production cost is under ten dollars right now. All of the technical ideas came from us, and the direction of the project came from us. So right now we formed a company uh, called Sparrow Labs, and we're looking to you know, raise investment funding, uh, continue our, our product development. We really want to see how far we can take it, and how many people we can reach, and, and really help. And I think the debut was a wonderful experience. It's good to kind of have some extra motivation to do a good project. It's just upon how much success we've got, it's actually uh, generated a lot of interest within Washington University and it's really good to see so many people who are really interested to being part of this community also.